what is the limit as n goes to infinity of 2 to the power of n divided by n factorial, and does the limit even exist? To answer this question, we're going to first make an observation. The observation is that n factorial is going to be greater than 3 to the power of n eventually, meaning for n large enough. Now, why is this true? So, we can start by looking at an example. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that's 5 factorial. And we can compare this to 3 to the power of 5. Now, in this case, 5 factorial is 120, whereas 3 to the power of 5 is 243. So this is not true. But let's see what happens next. If we take 6 factorial, so we multiply the left hand by 6, while on the right hand side we take 3 to the power of 6, so we're multiplying it by 3, then the left hand side is growing twice as fast as the right hand side. And we can continue this process, so we multiply here by 7, multiply here by 3, multiply by 8, multiply by 3. So we can see that as n gets larger, the left-hand side is growing at least twice as fast as the right-hand side. Now, if you have two positive numbers, regardless of what they are to begin with, if one is growing twice as fast as the other one, it's eventually going to overtake it. And indeed, we can calculate that 7 factorial equals 5,040, whereas 3 to the 7 equals 2,187. So 7 factorial is bigger than 3 to the 7. So now, going back to the question, this means that 2 to the n divided by n factorial is eventually going to be less than 2 to the n divided by 3 to the n. But we know that the limit as n goes to infinity of 2 to the power of n divided by 3 to the power of n is the limit of 2 thirds to the n. And this is 0. So it follows that the answer to our original question is zero.